streaming has taken off for some time now and viewers have categories to choose from on their favorite platforms. You have Kik, Twitch or YouTube to name a few. But is it easy to set up a stream? Can you do it by using a single PC or do you need a two PCs setup? In this video I'm gonna show how to set up a stream on YouTube and how much performance you're gonna lose, if any, by using a single setup compared to a dual one. Using your account, when you go live from YouTube Studio, you reach this page. This is where you set up your stream. Click on Edit to add the name of the stream, the description, add a thumbnail, choose if you want to make it public, how do you want to go live, the language, and most importantly, add the appropriate tags. Click Save when you're done. I'm using this software to stream, called OBS. In this app, click Settings, go to the stream settings and select the platform you want to stream on, in my case, YouTube. After, click Connect Account and a page will open your browser to log in and let OBS manage your stream. After, you should see in OBS, Start Streaming and Manage Broadcast. Click on Manage Broadcast and you will have two tabs. Create new broadcast and select existing broadcast. Choose the second one and you'll see there the one that you set up in YouTube Studio. And this is how I tested. The latest series from Nvidia and AMD have hardware encoders that can help with streaming and should have minimal performance degradation in gaming. I would advise never to use your CPU for encoding, but modern CPUs have integrated GPUs, so those may be an option, as the latest generations have hardware video encoders and decoders. I streamed while doing the benchmarks and after I downloaded the videos and added them in this one in side by side comparisons to see for yourself if there is a performance difference. First, let's check the Nvidia card, the 4080 and Fortnite and Cyberpunk 2077. In Fortnite, when gaming and using at the same time the 4080's Nvidia encoder or the AV1 encoder to stream, we lose around 12.5% performance. But by using the integrated GPU with X264 encoding, it lost only 6% compared to when not streaming. A smaller performance loss while using the integrated GPU. Now using the X264 encoder the NVIDIA GPU exhibits a greater performance loss when encoding the stream than the integrated GPU. The performance degradation is almost double than using the integrated GPU. To be honest, I was not expecting this. We get averages of 61.3 when encoding with the 4080, 65 within the integrated GPU and 69.5 while streaming with another PC. All videos used are linked in the description below. Now let's move to the 7900 XTX and see how it behaves when streaming. The the performance loss when streaming with the 7900 XTX seems to be less than 5%, at least in the less demanding games, and that is because the GPU is not 100% utilized. For these runs, I had disabled the integrated GPU to make sure that it was not used for the encoding. Check the videos linked in the description below for more info. Let's move to Cyberpunk 2077, a game that pushes the 7900 XTX to the max. When using the X264 encoder and the game utilizes the GPU to the fullest, we see a 8% performance loss. It seems that the AMD GPU loses less performance while gaming and streaming than the Nvidia card. But I'm not sure that all RDNA 3 or 40 series GPUs behave the same. So, Nvidia cards were long regarded as the best for streaming, but looking at the performance loss, the AMD cards seem to lose less. Now, let's be honest and say that the performance degradation is not that big when we compare the two GPUs, it stands at around 5% and that one may be mitigated by the game you play. One thing to consider, and I think that if you have a Ryzen 7000 series or a newer Intel CPU, the integrated GPUs may be the better options, at least from a performance standpoint. When it comes to the image quality, you can decide. I linked in the description below all the videos recorded with each encoder setting set in OBS. Keep in mind that YouTube applies its own encoding and compression, but I think it has the highest video quality when compared to the other streaming platforms. Let me know in the comments below if you manage to spot big difference between these videos and which do you find better looking. When it comes to a 2 PC setup, you need a capture card with minor complexity added. You have the options of an internal one that uses a PCI slot or an external one. This way, you never lose any performance. Keep in mind that you don't need a powerful 
second setup, as long as the GPU has hardware video encoding capabilities. To summarize, I will start with a single PC setup, using the integrated GPU for streaming, if your CPU has one, if not, use the discrete GPU, as we just saw, it's more than enough. If you liked or found the video helpful, please subscribe to the channel, hit the thumbs up button and drop a comment below. Thanks and hope to see you in the next one.